Hello my dear students this is Nabila your EVS teacher welcome you all back to the EVS class through this video lecture I hope you must have gone through the previous video and understood resemblance today in this video we are going to continue with the same topic so that you can understand it better let's begin so today we are going to study about twins and factors which are responsible for similarities and dissimilarities i hope most of you are familiar with the term twins but if not then let me make you familiar to it twins are children who are born together from the same mother twins are separated by a few minutes at birth sometimes they look very identical they look so similar that even the parents get confused but there are times when twins look different for example one of the twins may be taller or shorter fairer or darker or thinner or fatter sometimes they may might even have totally dissimilar features similarities and dissimilarities wherever there are similarities there are dissimilarities too quite often we differ from our parents sibling or relatives our bodies our senses and our likes and dislikes keep varying this is because we all have our own originalities individualities and uniqueness It is possible that two sisters have similar complexion but a different skin tone same structures but different features the factors which are responsible for similarities and dissimilarities are height weight body type or structure or size hair eyes nose height Some of us are short, some are tall, some are shorter, some are taller. So, the height is one of the most prominent physical characteristic to describe a person. You can take an example from your real life. Are all your friends are of same height? I know the answer to this is no. All are of different heights. So, I can say that height vary from person to person weight some of us with linear bodies tend to weight less while some of us with heavier bodies tend to weight more weight varies due to the difference in bone structures as well again take the same example do all your friends are of same weight the answer to this is no so we have different weights so we can say that weight vary from person to person body type structure or size each one of us has a different frame of body so our structures vary we have different body types too don't we some are broad bone some are fragile some are muscular while some are delicate usually males have stronger and larger bodies than females hair as we look at people around us we get to see different type of hairstyles the color texture and length of the hair as well as the haircut greatly differentiate one person from the other eyes eyes have different shapes colors and sizes nose just as our eyes differ our noses may vary too sometimes like any other feature we may inherit the same shape or length of our nose from a parent or a relative so we can say that our physical features are sometimes similar and sometimes unique and dissimilar our habits traits attitudes and behavioral pattern could be similar or dissimilar too role of environment not only our inherited traits but also our environment 
plays an important role in shaping and molding our characteristics. For example, if parents raise their two children in two different environments, they will develop different personalities. The environment we are brought up in leaves an imprint on us for the rest of our lives. For example, if a child has been brought up in a stressful and competitive environment, he or she will tend to shout and fight more. But if a child who has been raised in a calm and pleasant environment will grow into a disciplined and friendly person. Similarly, if one grows up with good education and training, the person will be more successful in life. If the one has been taught the tradition of respecting elders, he or she will grow into a better respectful individual. So, after going through so many examples, we can say that our environment plays an important role in how we grow up or who we become in our lives. Even as adults, our behavior may change drastically as an effect of the environment. So, children, this is all for today. I hope you understood the topic. Till we meet next, study well, please take care of yourself and thank you for watching the video.